Hey, it's Danielle from Banning Lane and I'm here with your In Your Pocket video for this week. Now I'm just showing you that on my left hand side here, I'm going to be doing a six by eight uh, page. And then on the right hand side, I'm gonna do four three by four pockets. And that's what my week is gonna consist of. I have my photos ready to go here. Uh, I know that I'm gonna do this bigger photo on the left hand side. I size this one at five by five. Uh, I did wanna do a full page photo on this side, but I didn't have time to get that photo printed and I could print a five by five at home. So um, that's what I went with. Now on this right hand side, I'm um, just doing a couple photos and then a couple cards. Now in the inspiration piece, there was a photo that had a rainbow in it and I knew that I could either find a photo or a story that went with that rainbow because my daughter is obsessed with rainbows right now. And so I definitely wanted to use the photo of her painting a rainbow on our stairs. And then another thing that sort of stuck out to me was all the yellow in the inspiration piece, probably because that's my favorite color. So that is why I definitely picked this card. It has little yellow sort of um, bursts on it. I don't know, it's a, it's a really cute pattern. And then I had a couple other just fun photos from the week, but I went ahead and went with this one of my little brother's dog. Uh, she's waiting for me to throw the ball and the ball was yellow. <laughs> so um, I just decided I will run with that and use that photo. So I'm just getting this left-hand side taken care of. It was at this point that I thought, well, maybe I'm just gonna add more yellow seems how that's kind of what I'm taking from the inspiration piece so I pull out this piece of polka dot paper that I just had in my stash it looks like it's a piece of recollections paper so I got that from Michaels and I thought that I would just map my photo with this yellow piece of paper now you can see here that has kind of a bigger mat and I thought no I don't want that much to be poking through so I trim trim it down so it's just a tiny little yellow mat and I decide that I liked that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just stick that down on my on my page. And then below that is where I'm going to be doing my journaling. Now I had pulled out an Allie Edwards stamp here and I liked the one that said um, the story I think, or this, no, it looks like that. It says the story. And so I thought that would be good to sort of place right there below my photo. And then I just didn't quite know. And so I was gonna change my mind, but then I placed the stamp set down on my layout. And because it's black, you can kind of see how it's going to look. And I thought, no, I'm gonna go with it. So uh, I take my stamp here and I stamp it up with some black ink and um, get that down on my page and I really like the way it looks so I'm glad that I went with that and then below that I'm going to just draw in a few lines to write my journaling on um, my husband has been talking about going fishing for a while and we finally went and got my daughter a little fishing pole it was pink and she loved it and we went fishing and she caught a fish and it was super fun so uh, i just wanted to document that story our sort of first fishing trip of the season at least for my daughter now once i had that six by eight layout done i could start working on my pocket page and i just start gluing things together and then all of this mess is sort of driving me crazy. So I get everything in a neat pile so that I can just work on one thing at a time. I have this picture of my daughter that I sort of talked about earlier that she's uh, using her sidewalk chalk to paint the steps rainbow, which is something she loves to do. When I printed this photo out, it was a little bit smaller than three by four. I got a new photo printer and I haven't quite figured out the settings on it. So instead of putting too much worry into that, I decided to just take some cardstock and I cut it down to three by four. And then I used that as my mat to fill in that space. Um, I did the same thing to that photo of Nora Dog. I know that I wanna maybe embellish below that photo or do some journaling, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. So I just put that to the side and start working on this card. So this yellow card, the, the one that I pulled to match the inspiration piece, I decided to write some journaling on that. And so I trimmed down another piece of cardstock. This is two inches by three inches, I think. And I used that stamp of the books from, um, it's from Feed Your Craft. I'll link to that Etsy shop down below. Um, but I finished a book this week and so I wanted to record that and just that I, I liked it. And so those that book stamp was perfect for that. Uh, and then I just, you saw, I drew in some lines and wrote down my journaling and call this card done. And I like the way that turned out. I think those books are so cute. 
So I know I'm going to put my photos opposite of each other on this um, on this page protector. And I pulled out a little tag that I got from my Felicity Jane kit. It was yellow, so I thought it would work. And there wasn't a lot of room to write. And so I thought, well, I'll just put Nora Dog. And then I get it stuck down on my card. And I like the look of it, but I just, I didn't want to just write her name. That felt weird to me. So I went back and forth with it. And you'll see here that I changed my mind and actually wrote some journaling, which I like better. Now, at this point, I don't know about that every day looks like this card. I like I like it, but I think that I want to write more story about my daughter coloring the steps in rainbow pattern. And um, I didn't know quite how it was going to do that. You saw I pulled a tag out, but I didn't really want to do that. And I turned this card over and I thought, perfect. Um, this other side of the card works great with my week. Plus, it leaves me a big space to write my journaling. And so I went with that. So once I get my journaling down, I call this spread done. And the only thing that I didn't do is write my week number, which is something I like to document. What I'll probably do is go back and stamp it on some vellum and then just tuck it in my week and treat it as an insert um, and call it good. So uh, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully we'll talk to you all soon. All right, bye-bye.